has been a busy year to date for the Wildlife Medical Clinic at the University of Illinois. The team of doctors and techs have cared for quite a few animals. And here to break down those number of patients that they have seen in today's Critters Uncaged, we have Dr. Sam Sander, as well as student team leaders Danielle Money and Faith Kim hanging out with us today. Welcome to all of you. Okay, so it sounds like the summer's kind of wrapping up, mm -hmm. but you guys have been busy. We have been busy and it, you know, our, our seasons change and so do all of our patients and also all of our training opportunities. So it's never a dull moment in the wildlife clinic. Okay, you all are um, uh, team leaders. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about what your role was like this summer. Yeah, so it kind of changes. So over the summer, we have a group of students that comes, but we, we're switching gears now for the academic year. And that's when we have the team leader role. And we have a role of um, managing about 15 and 20 students and taking care of patients that way. And what have you been up to? Uh, we've, like uh, Danielle said, we've been having a lot of um, training scheduled um, in preparation for this upcoming year. So whether that's, um, you know, fresh reminders on orphan feedings or triage and care or just basic procedures, um, we're just kind of refreshing all those skills and kind of getting ready. So All right. And you've had a great summer mm -hmm. getting ready mm -hmm. um, now to be able to tackle all of those jobs. So let's kind of... Let's do some numbers here of how many animals you have seen as of this morning. Yep. So as of this morning, we, well, as of right now, we've hit 1,400. Oh, my um, goodness. <laughs> so it's even gone up since this has morning. It has gone up since this morning. So we've got about 1,400 patients we've seen t this year to date. Um, about 40% of those have actually been able to be released or transferred to a li licensed wildlife rehabilitator so that they can finish growing up and then be released. So we're really, really proud of our successes. It's a great um, opportunity for our students to learn, to be able to engage, to help our community and to help the wildlife around them. And we've got two of our 24 team leaders um, here today. Um, and then let's talk also the training that they go through. Yeah, so our team leaders go through about three days of training before the academic year even starts. So while classes don't start until the 22nd, um, I get them for three days ahead of time where we go through all of those refreshers. We talk about team building and communication, medical record writing. Um, so we talk a lot about the science, we talk about the medicine, but it's also about how to be successful as a team leader. And the goal is to help them be successful veterinarians through their entire career. And this is just one way that they can start building those skills. Yeah, okay. You've had have, you're anticipating 130 student volunteers. Mm -hmm. So are these volunteers that are going to be in the program or are these just students who love animals or what is that? Uh, so most of them are veterinary students. We take about two dozen undergraduate students who help us out during the academic year, but the rest of those, uh, just over 100 students are veterinary students who are um, interested in helping in the wildlife clinic, practicing those skills. They don't all necessarily want to be wildlife or zoo veterinarians. Some of them do, uh, but some of them just want to be really good vets and they get an opportunity in the clinic to start practicing those skills and really getting those basics down. Um, and also honing the ability to work in a team and um, work together. So it's a really great opportunity regardless of what their long-term interests yeah. are. Let's talk long-term interests here for our team leaders here. Faith, t what's your plans, your long-term goals? I'm looking at ZooMed right now. <laughs> also interested in ortho surgery potentially. So okay. we have different avenues I'm kind of exploring right now. So Well, there you go. And Danielle, what about you? I want to do zoo medicine as well. Um, so Wildlife Clinic has been an amazing opportunity for that and just able to like learn not only mm -hmm. just like the medicine, but like leadership and communication skills and stuff like that. Very good. Do you find most of your students <laughs> gear towards that? Well, I mean, study? It's, it's really difficult to not want to, right? Like it's really cool to be able to work with an eagle or a possum. I know they're not your favorite, uh, but. <laughs> They can be really, it's a really exciting uh, profession. So it's, yeah, certainly we get a lot of students who are interested in the zoo profession that come to the University of Illinois because of the strength of our program, not only in wildlife, but also in zoo, the, the various different aspects of zoo medicine. So um, it's a great place to be as a zoo veterinarian um, here in central Illinois, um, where we can really attract the students who want to be in this field. But um, a lot of our students also spend their summers doing private practice or shadowing a surgeon or a neurologist or practicing large animal medicine and in honing those skills in other ways. Wow, and I'm sure all of those volunteers that you have coming through the door, that's a good opportunity for them to determine if this is a good Absolutely. fit for them and they want to pursue that as a career. Absolutely. So, okay, well, best of luck as Thank the year, you. as the school year. I can't believe it's already here. Oh, my gosh. It's kicking <laughs> off soon. And, um, yeah, if you want to learn a little bit more about all of the fun things that they're doing there at the Wildlife Medical Clinic, we'll be sure to connect you over at CILiving.tv. They're also on Facebook, so you can go check that out as well.